and welcome to Eureka Storytime. The title of today's book is What Do They Do With All That Poo? by Jane Kurds. What do they do with all that poo? At zoo after zoo, the animals chew. And then They poo. Poo is made of mostly water, but also bacteria and bits of undigested food. Animal poo goes by a lot of different names, including manure, scat, droppings, dung, castings, and guano. Giraffe poo looks like marbles as it drops a long, long way. A giraffe has four stomachs, so it digests its food very efficiently. That means a giraffe needs to eat a lot less than most herbivores, which is why its droppings are so small. Panda poo is full of bamboo. Pandas eat and poop all day. Pandas digest only 17% of the bamboo they eat and the leaves and stems pass through their systems very quickly. So panda poop looks like a green mass of partly digested bamboo and it doesn't stink. A hippo sprays a shower with its flipping, flapping tail. Hippos use dung showering to mark their territories and warn off their predators. They shoot their dung out while flapping their tails to spray it around. To weigh a day of an elephant's poo, you need a sturdy scale. An elephant can eat 300 pounds of leaves and grasses a day and then dump 165 pounds of poo. To help you think about that, a football weighs about a pound. Rhinos can communicate through piles and piles of scat. Hello, Bobby was here. Each rhino's poop has its own unique smell. Rhinos smell dung to gather information about one another. A lion sometimes buries poo like any other cat. Cats big and little often bury their poop so it won't be detected by enemies. But sometimes lions and tigers leave poop and buried as a warning that this is their territory. Slots creep down from trees to poop, but only once a week. Why do slots spend so much energy leaving the protection of trees to poop on the ground? It's a mystery scientists are trying to solve. A penguin shoots its poo out in a fishy smelling streak. Penguins don't have teeth, so as one zookeeper says, fish go through them fairly rapidly. Scientists have studied the force it takes for a penguin to shoot its bright white fishy guano so far. A wombat's poo is cube-shaped, so it isn't very rolly. Wombats are highly territorial. They each deposit 80 to 100 droppings every evening as signposts to say, I'm here. It helps to have a square signpost that doesn't roll away. Some snakes poop only once a year. They digest their food slowly. One study showed that it took a python five and a half days to digest a rat. Because their bodies are so efficient, 
Snakes poop less often than almost any other animal. Hyenas crunch up lots of bones. That's why their poop is white. The calcium in bones is what makes dried hyena poop white. And why hyena poop can easily turn into a fossil. Bat poop has undigested bugs. Bats poop all day and night. Bats turn right side up to do their poo so they don't poop on themselves. A bat can eat up to 1200 mosquitoes in an hour. Many bats also eat insects with shiny outer coverings that don't get digested, which makes the bats poop sparkly. So what do zoos do with all of that poo? They sweep it and hose it and toss it each day. A lot goes in dumpsters to be trucked away. A zoo might have to deal with more than 5,000 pounds of poop each day. Keeping it around would make zoos pretty smelly. So some of them pay thousands of dollars a year to send it off in trucks to landfills. They send some to vets and to scientists too. Then zoo poop is studied to help out the zoo. Doctors and vets study poop to see how well an animal is digesting its food and to spot health problems. Some zoos are experimenting with using poop to produce biogas that can power vehicles or buildings like a zoo hospital. They pile some in towers and toss it with rakes. It soon will be compost for gardeners to take. Compost made from herbivore poop mixed with food waste and grass clippings improves soil and helps plants grow. Zoos sell or give away compost using creative names like Zoo Manu, Zoo Do and Patchy Poo. Carnivore poo can be spread around yards to keep deer from eating plants and trees. First, worms like to munch it. Their poop is so teeny. Then, worm poop plus zoo poop grows perfect zucchini. Worms are an important part of the zoo poo composting process. They can eat hundreds of pounds of organic matter every week. Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle sells worm dew made from zoo dew compost and zoo coffee grounds. The zoo says it's been pooped once by exotic herbivores and pooped again by compost loving worms. They even make paper from elephant poo. Elephant poo comes out with so much plant fiber that a machine can wash the poo and pull out the fiber, which can then be used to make paper and cards. Zoo poo paper's pretty, not smelly. It's true. Wah! Look! Yikes! The monkey at the zoo just threw its poo at you. Many primates throw poo. Scientists discovered that chimpanzees who throw the most poo and hit their target the most often are the smartest and most sociable, which suggests that throwing is a form of communication and self-expression and maybe a step towards using tools. This brings us to the end of the book reading. We hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, bye.